Flood submerges 300 Bayelsa communities, displaces 700,000 people. The Bayelsa state government on Saturday declared that no fewer than 300 communities and villages have either been totally or partially submerged by flooding in the state. It also announced that about 700,000 persons have either been displaced or affected by the flood. The state government expressed the concern that the impact of this year's flooding might result in a humanitarian crisis. The Commissioner for Environment and Chairman of the State Task Force on Flood Mitigation and Management, Isolay McBarrenbury, stated these while giving an update on the committee's activities. He said that virtually all the communities and streets in Yanago local government area have also been either submerged or partially flooded. According to him, communities in five other local government areas namely, Sakbama, Ekaramal, Ogbia, Kolokuma Opakuma and Southern Ijaw were equally seriously affected by the flood. Baranbury said there had been reported cases of corpses being washed up at the cemetery in Asakoro, raising concerns of an impending health crisis. He, however, assured residents that the government would do its best to bring relief to victims of the flood as the committee was working round the clock to address the challenge of the current crisis. On Friday, Governor Deary restated his proposal for a post-flood management roundtable between worst-hit states and the federal government. He said such discourse had become necessary due to the infrastructure damage and the number of state resources deployed in tackling the flood menace. He spoke as he continued his on-the-spot assessment tour to Southern Ijaw local government area and other communities in Yanago local government area. Areas visited included the Amasoma Road leading to the Niger Delta University, which has been cut off at three points along the road and left commuters stranded. Diri said the unfortunate incident would prevent the resumption of lectures at the university now that the academic staff union of universities has called off its eight-month-old strike. While lamenting the huge cost of fixing the damaged roads by his government, Deary stressed that individual losses of property and deaths would be minimal if a permanent solution was immediately adopted. The governor said, I have already thought out a line of action. Post-flood mitigation is very important to us at this time. The post-flood period will be about our destroyed infrastructure, particularly roads. On Thursday, we saw the road leading to Sagbama from Ekramor had been badly damaged by the flood. Now, the road from Yanago to Amasoma, where you have the Niger Delta University has collapsed in three areas. So, even with the ASUU calling off its strike, the university cannot resume. That is what I have been talking about the peculiarity of Bayelsa State and our Niger Delta environment. It will cost the state billions of Naira before those roads would be repaired. Also, there are individual losses in terms of houses that have collapsed as a result of the flood and the deaths we have witnessed. In post-flood management, the federal government has to sit with the states to look for a lasting and permanent solution. One such solution is the construction of a dam so when water is released from wherever we should be able to contain it in Nigeria. The governor equally inspected the state-owned airport and expressed delight that despite the magnitude of the flood, the airport was not submerged contrary to speculations by opposition elements to discredit one of the best airports in the country. He also visited the School of Nursing and Basic Midwifery in Tombia, Alamea Siha Road, Apollo, the Oxbow Lake Pavilion and the State Assembly Quarters, Asakoro. Others were a camp for internally displaced persons provided by Abel Ebifemowe along the Yanago Amasoma Road, Igbedi Community and the Agudamuk Ptiama Road. describes the scale of the disaster as colossal. In Lakoja, a city at the confluence of the Niger and Benue rivers, homes and businesses are submerged in a capital Abuja. The floods have been building since early summer. 27 of the country's 36 states have been hit, the government says, and 1.4 million people affected. Nigerian authorities say the flooding has been caused by heavier than usual rains and that it intensified after water releases from the Lagzo Dam in neighboring Cameroon.
Il y a un peu de temps. Il y a un peu de temps. Il y a un peu de temps. Il y a un peu de temps.